is up you guys it's Katya Bulks welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another protein powder review I don't know why I paused so hard between those two words anyways yes so this is a protein that we've tried in the past and we are going to try it again because they came out with a new flavor you saw the thumbnail we're trying the blessed protein powder so they did like I don't know if you want to call it collaboration or whatnot with Ghostbusters and they came out with a few new products of a few different flavors whether it was like their pre-workout or their fat burner but they did come out with a new flavor of their blessed protein powder which is their vegan protein powder line and this one is called mini stay puffs marshmallow you can see it right here yeah which sounds pretty awesome in theory, but if you've seen my other reviews, you would know that I do not like their protein. Um, they have failed many times with flavors. I think only one of them was like subpar, but another time I've literally had to return it because it was bad. Yeah, they've kind of failed on the flavor part of being a vegan protein powder and I've never bought them again so I am nervous but when I saw this flavor came out I was like I should probably jump on that because that sounds really interesting and why not try it with you guys so I am putting my body to the test with this thing and hoping that it tastes good but yeah I'm gonna just jump right into it and read you guys the macros on this so one scoop is 35 grams it's 130 calories 2.5 fat 4 carbs and 23 grams of protein um, it's interesting it has included 2 grams of added sugar so they actually add sugar in here I don't like that I like sugar free because yeah looking at the ingredients you see raw pea protein isolate coconut sugar natural flavor sunflower creamer which has all these other maltodextrin, modifying cornstarch, mono and salt, sucralose, vegetable gum. I do not like what's in this product. Let's be brutally honest. I'm still going to try it with you guys, but this is not great. It's not clean. It's, it's a gums, maltodextrin, and just stuff you don't need from a po protein powder. It's a lot of fillers, which is kind of surprising because usually a lot of fillers means like they're trying to enhance the flavor yet all their other flavors have tasted bad so I don't know what they might be doing wrong but just off the bat I don't like what's in it <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna buy it again but I am here to try it with you guys in case for some reason you guys really want to go give it a try maybe you love like all the other EHP labs um branded products but and wanted to give this a try don't just just don't i'm gonna say that i know i'm gonna ruin the ending of like whether or not to buy it what do i think of the product but yeah we're gonna try it anyways because hey what if it's absolutely delicious then maybe you can buy it for like a once in a while smoothie or ice cream but maybe not every day because it's just not gonna be good quality protein for you plus it's only a pea protein isolate so it's not giving you your full amino profile anyways so i know i'm rambling on you're like kasia please try the damn protein powder already all right i'm gonna go put this in a jar like this with just water and mix it up catch you in a bit all right i got it well mixed it took a minute to get all the clumps out from the bottom but we've got it all mixed up pretty well. I don't have a shaker ball or anything in there, so. I don't really smell much. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Let's see. Alrighty. Off the bat, it's just like that over sweetness of definitely like sucralose. Just that artificial sweetener like it doesn't taste like sugar but it's just so sweet that it's a little overwhelming and then afterwards comes in this kind of taste of the marshmallow hmm yeah that's weird it's not 
prominent marshmallow. It's more like this just abstract sweetness. And then like a hint of slight marshmallow, but this weird fakey marshmallow. Uh, it's, it's not that good. The only thing that's good about it is the sweetness because I enjoy sweetness, but this would easily be too sweet for someone. And this is just water. So I can imagine even if you were to add this to like oatmeal or something might be too sweet for you. It would taste as if you put a regular protein powder and then like added sugar on top of it. It's that sweet, but it is very smooth. I enjoy that. Um, not really any kind of pea protein aftertaste, which is nice. The smell of the protein powder, like you don't really smell the sweetness, but you do kind of smell the pea protein. But yeah, this is a, uh, hmm. It's not awful, but it's not great. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll wrap up this whole review. All right, guys, we're at the end of the video and my overall review of the Blessed Protein Powder in Mini Stay Puffs Marshmallow is... No, it is totally not approved by Katya Bulks. So I am sorry to announce, but I do not like this, nor would I recommend it to you. If you want to know better clean protein powders to try, check out the links down below. Yes, some of them are affiliate links, but only because I truly believe in their ingredients and find them to be really good, pure protein powders. Otherwise, I mean, if you really want to try this, you can, but I'm telling you right here, right now, it's, it doesn't really taste like marshmallow. And it's just like overwhelmingly sucralosey sweet. Uh, yeah, I, I can't even rate that. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. No, 4. Yeah, 4. I mean, it's not great. I mean, uh, it's not so awful that I feel like I have to return it. Like, I'll just have to like mix this with some of my other protein powder just to get through the tub. But it's not so bad that I have to return it like one of their other flavors was. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I hope they don't come up with any more flavors that you asked me to try because I just don't, I don't care for Blessed. I'm so sorry, but they just have, unless they completely revamp their formula and clean it up a bit, like, it, I don't, only their affiliates are going to be like, oh my gosh, this tastes so good. <laughs> but no, it doesn't. So... Anyways, I hope this review was helpful for you guys, for anyone who might have been looking at that protein powder and are curious about trying different vegan protein powders. Again, there's links down below to my personal favorite protein powders that I like to use to build a vegan muscle. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join the family to see more protein powder reviews and whatnot that I come out with. Your girl is like about three weeks, almost two weeks out from competing again. I need to vlog about that more. So let me know in the comment section below what other kind of videos or products you would like for me to review. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.